Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashok. Today with this video, I am going to start a new video series on Omni Studio Velocity Interview Preparation with questions and answers. So I will create multiple videos and start from basic questions and as we move further, we will take advanced questions. And we will cover questions related to flex cards, omni scripts, data raptors, integration procedures and how we can use these components in Apex and LWC. And how we can use LWC components in flex cards, omni scripts, okay. So let's start today's video with first and very basic question that is what is velocity, okay. So before going to answer this question, let's discuss about the real time problem of a business with Salesforce CRM. So as you know. Salesforce has a generic CRM software that fulfills almost all the requirements for sales service process or we can say fully featured CRM. But when we talk about different industries like healthcare, communication, media and many others, then they have their unique business process or requirements. For example, in healthcare industry, we have different process like there we need to capture data related to patients, clinics and clinicians. But in Salesforce CRM, we don't have object and out of box features to capture those data. So if anyone wants to use Salesforce in healthcare industry, then they have to do lots of customization and development on top of Salesforce to implement industry specific needs. And for customers, this is not cost efficient and sometimes risky as well. Because in this case, they have to find an implementation partner and get it implemented. And also it takes time for customization. And same process need to follow to every customer in that industry. For example, let's say there are three companies in communication industry A, B and C. And let's say A started using Salesforce. Now they will get a generic Salesforce org instance that may not fulfill their complete requirement. So for that, they will identify what all changes they need to make it as per industry. And after identifying the requirement, they will find an implementation partner who can implement changes for them and you know this process may be time consuming and sometimes risky as well and now if V is going to use Salesforce so we will also find similar kind of changes over there like they also have to identify their changes and they will also go to implementation partner and get it implemented and C also needs to follow the same process right so this was the biggest problem like when different industries are going to use generic Salesforce CRM. In that case, they need to do lots of customization over there. Okay. Now let's discuss about Velocity. So Velocity is a company that is founded in 2014. And Velocity noticed this business problem and started working to implement industry specific solutions on top of Salesforce platform and bundle those solutions into packages. And those packages can be installed into any Salesforce org. So we can say Velocity created multiple industry specific packages, I mean pre-built solutions on top of Salesforce platform. And those are designed to solve complete needs for the particular industry. So customer get started their application quickly with less customization. Okay. Now if we talk about our previous example of ABC company, after purchasing Salesforce instance, they can install manage package on top of that from app exchange and all the industry specifics requirements will already pre-built in that package so they can easily get started with their work so this is how velocity is very helpful for different industries because they have already implemented their specific requirements and bundle them into packages and those packages can be installed into any salesforce org and velocity is natively designed on salesforce platform and has built-in customization tools with the help of them we can do further customization as well okay now next question we have why velocity become popular what is the main reason behind that so as we have already discussed in last question velocity identified the problems that industries were facing to use salesforce so they worked to fill the gap and created industry specific solutions now those industries can easily use Salesforce with Velocity package and don't have to do much customization, right? So this is the main reason to become Velocity more popular in very short time span, okay? And now next we have, what is Salesforce industries? So you know, 
velocity watch become popular and growing year by year with high profit so in 2020 salesforce acquired velocity and rebranded it to salesforce industries so we can say velocity is known as salesforce industries now okay now next question we have what all business domains are covered by salesforce industries so you can see salesforce has pre-built solutions for many industries like communication media manufacturing healthcare government public sector retail transportation education energy and utilities and many others are there and i'm sure in future we will see more industries which are covered by salesforce because salesforce continuously working to cover more industries okay now next question we have what is omni studio so we can say omni studio is a low code point and click tool that is built on top of salesforce platform and part of velocity package and omni studio offers many customization tools like flex cards omni script integration procedures data raptors for end to end development and with the help of these tools we can create ui and backend logics by only using point and click i mean without writing single line of code and with the help of these tools we can implement any complex requirement in salesforce like we can design any complex ui and we can write any complex logic in omni studio only with declarative approach and whatever ui components we build with the help of omni studio we can use them into internally in salesforce like on app builder pages or externally also like on communities because at the end once we publish them they get converted into lwc components okay so in nutshell omni studio is a low code point and click tool to implement custom requirements with almost no code now next question we have what are the advantages of using omni studio so there are many advantages of using omni studio for custom development so first is this is a point and click tool so we can implement our requirements quickly with less time and low efforts because you know this is a drag and drop tool so we can quickly set up and implement our requirements and not required much programming knowledge so you know this is a drag and drop tool so if someone has less programming knowledge then also he can easily work on this or get familiar quickly okay and next is lwc support so generally we can achieve almost all the requirements by using pre-built out of box or point and click tools but if you have a complex requirement which cannot be achieved by point and click tools then we can implement that requirement in lwc components and we can call those lwc components into flex card or omni scripts and also we can override pre-built controls with lwc components like if you want to do something that is not available in out of box controls then you can override those controls with lwc components for example let's say we want to do something on text change in text box then we don't have any event to do this in out of box text box in omni script so to achieve this we can create a text box in lwc component and override that out of box text box with custom lwc component so lwc support is the lifesaver in many situations okay now next we have explain omni studio architecture so we can say omni studio is a three layered architecture which covers digital experience service management and developer experience and digital experience completely deal with user interface or we can say it's a completely front end layer so whatever we want to show to the user that we can build with the help of digital experience and it is divided into two parts flex cards and omni scripts so when we have a requirement where we only want to show data and don't want to take inputs from user in that case we should use flex cards and if you have a requirement where we need to take inputs from user or you want to show a guided path or if you want to show multiple step wizard to the user then we should go with the omni scripts and also with the help of omni scripts we can generate pdfs and we can do almost anything with omni scripts so we can say this is a very important tool in omni studio and if you have a requirement that cannot be implemented by predefined options in omni script or flex cards 
then we can implement that requirement in LWC components and we can call those components into OmniScript or flex cards okay and next layer is service management so we can say this is a kind of business layer in which we can write backend logics to fetch and save the data into Salesforce or external system and we can also do calculation on data like before showing on UI or before saving into Salesforce database and this is also mainly divided into two parts integration procedures and data raptors and if we talk about data raptors then we can say if you want to do communication with Salesforce database like if you want to insert update or select data from Salesforce database in that case we will use data raptors but we cannot delete data with the help of data raptors for that we can use integration procedures or omni scripts okay so in nutshell we can say if you want to do communication with Salesforce database then we should use data raptors and we have four kind of data raptors turbo extract extract load and transform and we will discuss in details about these in future videos okay now let's discuss about integration procedures so as you can see in this icon of integration procedures like in single integration procedure we can perform multiple operations like we can fetch data from external systems or we can do processing on those data and we can save those data into database and also we can return those data to flex card or omni scripts so we can say integration procedures act like as a apex class it means as like in apex class we can have multiple methods to perform multiple operations Similarly, in integration procedure also, we can have multiple actions to perform multiple operations. For example, let's say on clicking of button, you want to get data from external system and do some manipulation with that data and save into Salesforce database. And finally, you want to show data on Omni script. So these all tasks we can do in single integration procedure with multiple steps. Okay, so in nutshell, we can say, in single server call, if you want to perform multiple operations, in that case we should use integration procedures. And if you do not use integration procedures, in that case you have to call server individually for each and every operation like calling for external system and transforming the data and saving the data into Salesforce database and returning back to the Omni script. Okay. So if you want to perform multiple operations on single server call, then we should use integration procedures because it will be better in performance as well as we are making only one server request instead of multiple and we can consider our integration procedure as apex class in which we can have multiple actions and we can consider data raptor as soql and dml okay now next we have developer experience in which we have idx build tool and idx workbench so we generally use these tools to deploy our Omni Studio components like Omni scripts, flex cards, integration procedures and data raptors. Okay. So I think that's it for this video. And here we have only covered introduction of basic topics. But from next videos, we will start discussing on advanced topics like data raptors, integration procedures, flex cards and Omni scripts and how to use these components in LWC or Apex and how we can use LWC components in FlexCard or Omni scripts and also we will discuss how to pass data between all these components and we will try to cover all possible questions okay so please subscribe my youtube channel so you can get notifications for new videos and thank you for watching this video i will see you in next video